Oh my gosh, what is a seller property disclosure? Or as I like to call it, a spud. So a seller property disclosure for a seller, this is your opportunity and you have to take this very seriously. Anything that you know to be wrong with this house, anything that you know to be factual about your house that you need to disclose to let the buyer know, hey, this is what you're buying from me, um, you have to disclose it. If it's something bad like, oh yeah, I know the foundation in the northwest corner of the house is bad, uh, you have to disclose that. You have to put that in the spuds. Um, if you knew about something and it gets found out that you didn't disclose it on the seller property disclosure, you could have a lawsuit on your hands. If you've told me about anything that's wrong with the house, but you did not put it on the spuds, that can result in a lawsuit. I am legally obligated to communicate that to a buyer, whether you put it on there or not. I have to protect myself. You have to protect yourself. So it's just better just disclose everything that you know. It's more information is better than not enough because if you put the shoe on the other foot, you would want to know exactly what you're buying with your next house as well. If there's anything that you're wondering if you should put it or how you should communicate it onto the seller property disclosure, just reach out to me and I'll tell you where to put that on there and how to best communicate that. Again, if you have any questions on the seller property disclosure or what to disclose, please reach out to me. 